Hello everybody, my name is Catherine Mack. I'm a registered psychologist, yoga teacher, and a PhD student at the University of Queensland. So my paper in the September 2018 issue of DMCN is a study of a randomized controlled trial looking at the effects of a mindfulness yoga program, My Yoga, on attention, behavior, and physical outcomes in children with cerebral palsy. I would like to acknowledge my co-authors, Dr. Carl Whittingham, Professor Ross Cunnington, and Professor Rosalind Boyd. So what do we already know about this topic? We know that up to 50% of children with cerebral palsy have cognitive difficulties. Now, cognitive um, abilities is really important for children um, because it enables children to concentrate on tasks and ignore distractions, which are very crucial skills in our everyday life. In this population, they might need these skills for their physical um, rehabilitations and physical therapy sessions as well. Unfortunately, there are limited research on cognitive rehabilitation for children with CP at this time. So what we felt was needed is we needed an intervention that enhances cognitive function, possibly, possibly provides some physical benefits, and improve well-being and quality of life um, in families and children with CP. We also wanted an intervention that is, of course, adaptable to the different abilities. And because we're working with children, we also felt it was important to have something that was fun. When it's fun for children, it would enhance their motivation, intrinsic motivation to practice and to participate. That's when we started looking at mindfulness and yoga. So why mindfulness and yoga? So mindfulness and yoga practices have a common essential ingredient. That is our awareness or attention um, on what we are doing in the present moment. So there are a number of neuroimaging and neuropsychological studies that shows um, a positive association between uh, mindfulness-based interventions um, and enhanced attention abilities in the adult population. Although in the pediatric population, the evidence is less clear, um, a systematic review, which we referenced in the paper, in the DMCN, we also found that it was actually promising um, results. Uh, it was less clear, but there were promising results that suggest mindfulness-based interventions could also improve children's attention and executive function. What we also found was that more quality trials were needed. So that's when we developed My Yoga. So My Yoga is a family-centered um, program where we focused on um, enhancing children's attention, um, behavior, their physical outcomes, as well as the parent outcomes. Now, in the program, there were different activities. Um, each week, the participants learned a new tool to explore their everyday life with in a mindful way. And some of these activities were less formal and they were more explorations and, and games. And as you can see here, these included mindful eating, mindful drinking, mindful touching, mindful smelling. There were also more formal mindfulness practices that included short mindfulness meditations and mindful movements, which we used Hatha Yoga postures. The Hatha yoga postures were all modified um, as required, um, depending on the child's abilities. So that um, it would be suitable and comfortable for them. Now, I'm not going to be able to talk about all the um, outcome variables in the study in this video podcast. So I will focus on the primary outcome of the study, which is attention. Um, in this video. So the primary outcome measure we chose was the Connors Continuous Performance Test. 
this is a non-X paradigm. So the participant has to ignore the letter X and respond to all the other letters by pressing spacebar button. There are six blocks of 20 trials with uh, varied interstimulus intervals, and the whole task takes 14 minutes to complete. And as you can see, 14 minutes of this can be quite boring. So in order to actually perform well in this task, you need to have good sustained attention. So in our ANCOVA analysis um, post-intervention, um, we found that the My Yoga group actually performed better um, on the inattention variable than the weightless control group. Now, I'll also spend a quick uh, minute here just to orientate you to the graph. On the y-axis is the t-score of the um, attention variable from the continuous performance test. And the higher the variable is actually the more inattentiveness. And so for this um, outcome variables and for the ones that I will present in the next couple of slides, the lower the score is actually the better attention performance. So here, the My Yoga group was more attentive and more consistent in their responses compared to the whitelist control group uh, post-intervention. Similarly, in, uh, for impulsiveness, we found also that the My Yoga group was less impulsive than the weightless control group after intervention. And for sustained attention, the My Yoga group was actually um, better at sustaining their attention because their reaction time was more consistent. There was less change, lower in, um, in the graph. Um, in their reaction time across the whole duration of the task when compared to the weightless control group in the blue um, post-intervention. So what does this paper add? So this paper showed that my yoga is effective at enhancing attention um, and enhances consistency in um, responses as well as improves sustained attention uh, while decreasing impulsiveness in children with CP. Mm -hmm. To our knowledge, this is the first randomised control trial of um, mindfulness and yoga for children with cerebral palsy. Um, as I mentioned before, I highly recommend you reading the paper for detailed um, results on the other outcome variables. But I would also like to mention here quickly that um, my yoga didn't find any significant effects on um, physical functioning. Overall, this paper suggests that my yoga and other embodied mindfulness-based interventions may be a good cognitive rehabilitation option for children with cerebral palsy. Thank you for watching. And now please go and read the paper. Enjoy, and if you have any questions, do, don't hesitate to contact me. Thank you. Bye.